I'm going to share something with you from 1 Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. 1 Maccabees, you can find this book in the Apocrypha. The Apocrypha was part of the 1611 King James Bible. Until recent centuries, it was kind of set to the side by the people in the church, the wolves in sheep's clothing, because the Apocrypha has some neat information that they do not want you to get your hands on, as you're about to see in this video. All right, let's begin with verse 47. It says that when they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes, they laid open the book of the law, a.k.a. what we call today the Bible. So they laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of the images. You see that? The Gentiles wanted to trip up the people of Yashorel by painting the images of their idols in the books of the saints and prophets. What images? These images right here. To your left, you have a white Jesus. To your right, you have black Jesus. The one on the left looks like an effeminate European with blue eyes, fair skin, red, brownish type hair. This is the Jesus that they're trying to shove down our throats in modern times. Since we are in the time of the Gentiles, so... No marvel there. To your right, this one has just come up recently. A black Jesus. A black Jesus with red eyes and an afro. Some people think because it says in scripture that Mashiach was likened to brass. In other words, he had a little bit of melanin in him, which I believe is true. They think that he was black. So they take it a step further and they throw an afro on him with a beard. They gave him the red eyes, I guess, to make him look fierce and scary. To me, he just looks like an old black man that looks high as I don't know what. Yeah. It's ridiculous. But anyways, they're doing the same thing now that they were doing back then. Trying to paint the Savior in their image. Why? Because he's not. See that? Here's another one. White Jesus to your left. Black Jesus to your right. Don't fall for the nonsense. Black Jesus again. Here they have another Jesus. The Hamatic version of Jesus. They have a whole bunch of images of Jesus. Here's a popular one. White Jesus. Here's a black Jesus. And a white one. See, so they were seeking to paint these images and the scriptures that they had back in the day. So yeah, don't fall for it, man. It's a big old lie. Read scripture for yourself. And you draw your own conclusion. Alright, so I just wanted to share that because I found it pretty interesting that it says in 1 Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48, that the Gentiles, the non-believers wanted to be a stumbling block to Yasharel by painting the images of their idols in the writings of the Hebrews. So be vigilant and don't fall for this white and black thing, all right? Much love. Till next time. Shalom.